Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to try a look today that I've been seeing all over Instagram, all over Pinterest, um, where they pretty much take a bright color and they put it right in their inner corner and drag it up a little bit and down a little bit. Then they just do a massive wing liner and lashes and I'm all for it. So I'm going to give it a go. Never tried it. I got all my products out here. I'm ready to dive in. So if you're interested, subscribe and um, keep on watching. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and prime and do my foundation because with minimal eyeshadow, you don't really need to do the eye look first because I don't have to do that cut crease and all that. Oh, yes, I do because that wing liner. Duh. Okay, let's try that again. Though. Let's do our tape first. I forgot all about my wing liner, but we can do that first. I've seen quite a few videos on this. I kind of got the gist of what I'm doing. So how are you guys doing today? It's Tuesday. It's so hot today where I'm at. I don't know about you guys, but it was like super hot. Just going to apply my elf eye tapes. They're my favorite, guys, and they're like so cheap. I really need to like kind of get a little gutsy and try it without the eye tapes but I'm gonna I'm gonna get there I'm just not there yet what do you guys think about my hair I mean am I too old to be rocking pigtails or what just an easier way to keep the hair out of my eyes so I can really focus on the makeup I also like to wear those bands those head different various headbands those are nice too Okay, so first things first is I'm going to prime my eyelids, and I'm just going to go in with some um, concealer just because I'm doing, like I said, minimum eyeshadow. It ain't like I'm doing a full all over the lid type deal. Alright, so I'm just going to go in with, um, as always, that e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I really like that, guys. It's like super full coverage, and it really is hydrating, I mean. It's right there in the name, and they did not lie. So I'm just going to spray my brush with this um, dry clean, clean spray. Because, once again, I haven't gotten around to cleaning my brushes. So we're just going to brush that clean. And I'm going to go in with one of those brush sets that I got from Sheen. And I'm going to go in, and I'm going to clean up my brows, okay? I'm not cleaning up my brows, but I'm going to kind of clean up my brows, kind of set the line, but I haven't, <coughs> excuse me, I haven't went in with my brow product yet. I figured I'd do my face first. So I'm just going to kind of paint this on here, like so. like that guys and you can even go in and kind of tap it down because I'm not gonna set this or nothing just like that and that is a really good color for me actually so if you are my shade or you know close to my skin color um I'm in the shade 84825 light peach so if you're wondering you know, I mean, if guys, if there's any looks that you're, you know, wanting to know how to do and you're wanting me to try, just, you know, let me know. Put it down there in that, um, in the comment section. I will definitely give it my best to go. And I'm that kind of person, if I don't get it right, I'm going to try and try it till I do. So, I don't give up on nothing, especially when it comes to my passion here. You know? So, you guys just let me know what you, if you're interested in, you know, want me to do something, I'd be more than happy. I'd be, yeah, thrilled actually, because I run out of ideas every now and then. I, mean, I know I just started and I do have quite a few ideas jotted down, but... I love your guys' ideas too. 
Okay, so now that we got that going. So, um, I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the winged eyeliner. So, I'm going to use... I think I'm going to do two different eyeliners because I really like this house laboratories, but it's like stiff, but the color is like super duper black. So I think I'm going to do that on top and then underneath, I'm going to do the Kat Von D Beauty because that's not as dark and I want something sharp, something dark, you know, to go with this look. So I'm going to go in with this tattoo liner by Kat Von D, which I really like their brand. That's really nice. Okay, so and that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm just gonna oh, I'll kind of clean you in here. Kind of start in the inner corner and kind of go out. I want like a kind of like a thick liner, you know? Because with a look like this, it kind of calls for one, you know? And then we'll just fill that in. We'll just fill it in. And this is where this tape really comes in handy because it gives you that sharp, flat edge. And especially with eyeshadows, I love it. Like that guys see how gorgeous that is all right let's see if i can match it on the other side because that's always a challenge I'm just filling in. I know I'm kind of quiet, guys. I'm just concentrating. And don't mind my that background. My husband's watching Big Bang Theory. It's like our favorite show. He's super cute, guys. I mean, I really don't give him enough credit because he's so supportive of this of my starting this channel you know always keeps an eye on the kids you know always keeps an eye on the kids for me when I do a look you know what I mean so just shout out to him you know but I mean see it's like it's not near as dark as I need it to be we're going to put a cap on this, which it could be partly the concealer, too. I'm not saying it's just, you know, just the liner or nothing. Because I like the liner. It performs great. I just don't think it's dark enough. So we're going to go in with this House Laboratories in the shade Punk. Yeah, Punk. Okay. And look at that freaking tip, guys. Oh, love it. Okay. It's just not really that flexible, you know? I'm just going to kind of dab it and make sure you guys can see. See what I'm saying? Because you want something, something super black when it comes to this look. And I'm hoping that I didn't overstep with the liner in the inner corner with this color. I don't even know what color I'm doing. You know, like... What color should I use? I'm actually going to dip into 
don't know if you guys have picked it up. Yeah, look at that, guys. Oh, love it. Okay. I don't know if you guys have picked it up, but I picked up um, the J-Cat Beauty Palette. Um, I guess technically it's the Dia and Noche Palette, right? This is my first palette from them. These colors, guys, are the bee's knees. I mean, seriously. Guys, let me open this up for you and show you just how awesome it is. If I can get it open. Like some palettes are just so hard to open, you know. But anyways, look at these guys. Now that's not the perfect color. I'm kind of veering towards this one. Like, look how pretty that is. Like a nice bright green. And that is um psyched up. I am pretty psyched about this look, so I guess it kind of fits. So, anyways, we got our liner down. We can go ahead and take our tapes off. I try not to wear them long and I have to because sometimes they pull underneath my eyelids. Look how sharp that is, guys. Oh, I'm telling you, elf eye tapes are where it's at. Don't like the bomb. Now, the, the trick is to see if I match the other one. A lot of times I gotta go in and fix it. Mm, guys, I think this one's lower than the other one. Oh well. One of these days I'll get with it. Maybe if I quit using the tape, so be able to match it up i don't know anyways okay so now we're gonna go in with the green we're gonna go in with a small smaller brush i think i'm gonna oh, let's see what brush should i use you ever feel like you have so many brushes but you don't have enough brushes because you don't have the right one Kind of where I'm at today. I think I'm gonna go with this nice little pencil brush from Jessup. Um, it's a 230 Luxie pencil brush. If you guys try to make sure you guys can see everything. Um, and last video I left um, all the products I used in the description box. I don't know if that's something you guys like, so that you can go back and look. I mean, I think that's you know pretty organized. I mean, I can always do that. If that's something you guys want me to do. Alright. Just kind of let me know. As usual, we're going to like massively dip into the screen, guys. Because I want this to be like bright. Alright, we're just going to work it literally right in here and around. Just, just a little bit. Not a whole lot and on the lid. Just a tiny bit, okay? It really comes from the inner corner. Okay, really that's where it comes from. But the liner didn't mess it up. I was worried it would. Just kind of work it. See? Something like that, guys. Just like a bright inner corner. And I think I might do a little bit of brown just in the crease for something. Because I don't like a bland eye. Obviously. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on the other eye, okay? We got green on my nose, guys. Bring it brown nose. Okay, now. So you guys look at that. I think that's just gorgeous. I really like that a lot. I didn't even turn music on this video. Sorry guys, that's a little rude, huh? 
Usually I turn some music on so we have something. This palette doesn't have brown, but it does have this nice pretty orange. So I think I'm gonna dip into that. And that is, let's see, that's in the shade Greatest. So we're gonna dip into that on a nice fluffy brush, which is in the Jessup Luxie Soft Crease Brush. I'm gonna wash it out because it had some brown on it. I literally, that, that cleaner, guys, is a lifesaver. And I think it's like $15 or $12 or something. I literally bought an extra about a month or two ago. And I haven't even dipped into it yet. I still got a whole can in there. Okay. So we're going to dip into that. Just ever so slightly, guys. And I'm going to tap off a lot of the excess. And I'm just going to kind of... I'm trying to break myself from working that far close. What do you think, guys? I really like that. It's like a Nickelodeon vibe. Mm, I'm digging that. Okay, so let's go back in. On the back, light pressure, just so you can let the colors work and you can really blend. I learned that from um, Kristen Dominique. I really like her channel, guys. If you haven't seen her, check her out. I have a lot, like, a lot of favorites. There's like four people that I really watch that I've, you know, been watching for the past for the past um, six months. That has really inspired me and in create my own YouTube channel, um, Juicy Jazz. Um, Kristen Dominique, um, Kelly Strack, and uh, Kathleen Lights. Those are my four go-tos. Those I watch all their videos. Just love them girls. They're always just so awesome. And Carly Bible. I like Carly Bible too. Okay, so yeah, guys, I love that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do our tight line and stuff like we always do. Okay, we're going to dip in. Pencil. I guess I'm going to go with something different. We're going to go in with Cherry Chi. This is a brand that I think is exclusive only at um, Burlington because it's the only brand I've seen it at. And we're just going to tie it. We're just going to run this pencil right up in there. That way you can't tell a difference in our false lashes. You don't want that like, you don't want that line, you know? I like really love this this um palette. Like it's so bright and I'm a bright person anyways. So I like my eyeshadow to match my personality. You know what I'm saying? So anyways. Put that up guys. And then we're gonna go in with our lashes. And today um, I'm going to go with the lashes that I've been going in with. This is a Sheen exclusive, but I did trim them down a little bit because with me having glasses, and for all you ladies out there that do have glasses, I have to trim the length of them just a little bit because if not, they'll hit my glasses and it drives me nuts all day long. So, we're going to try it today because I did trim it up the last time I took them off. So, let's go in with that. Okay, let's just... I did open up a fresh glue. I think that was last, or the video before last. I love a fresh glue. Okay, so we're just gonna take this right along the line of our um, liner just until the end of our eye. We don't wanna go all the way up till, you know, the end of the liner or nothing. I'm just trying to make you guys can see here. I don't really have a way to zoom you in or nothing, guys. When I really get established and I get enough subscribers and all that, I'll have a fancy camera. And then I'll be able to zoom you, zoom you out, all that fancy stuff. But for now, if you could work with me, that'd be wonderful. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. Oh, we just ate dinner. I mean, what do you guys have? What'd you guys have for dinner tonight? You know, that's what I love about this is you know you can talk to people from all around the world. 
you know, Indian, Chinese, you know, Jamaican, African American, you know, what did you guys have for dinner? I had lunch meat sandwiches myself, but you know, that's another story, I suppose. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to curl these. I always like to curl my lashes just because it gives them a little lift. And you want your whole eye to be lifted, you know? You want everything to be lifted. So we're just going to pop this lash right in this black piece, hold it for a few seconds, and that's it. So, let me make sure you guys, so when it gets right here, guys, you just clamp it down. We want to make sure we're nice, like I said, nice and lifted. And I think this new cut where I trimmed it is going to work out great. Let's see. Which is funny because, guys, I got about 8 o'clock. No joke. 8, sometimes 9. Here lately, I ain't been going to bed till 10 because of all my uploads. And, you know, I want to make sure everything works out good. Look at that. So, literally, I'm going to do this look. I'm going to take it right back off. But anything for you guys, you know? I am a dedicated lady. All right, so next, we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Ah, oh, easy, Ash. Break your lash. I'm a hot mess today, guys. Is anybody else already ready for the weekend? I mean, I feel bad at wishing your life away and all, but God almighty. It's just been so hot, you know? The last thing I want to do is run around and go to work and run here, there, and everywhere, you know? So then we're going to take it by the lash and apply the second one, okay? Try to make sure you guys can see here. Just, I like to lay it right in the middle there and then kind of pinch it and adjust. You know? Like, seriously, guys, look at that. Oh. I'm living for that, although I think that's a little too high, but that's okay. Yeah, what's my scare to be okay? All right, we're going to set this off to the side. And I think I might do some, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it, really. Going off of the basis of this look, but kind of making it my own. That's the great thing about makeup, guys, is you can really make it your own. Take an idea and run with it. It's just an exciting thing. Okay, so now we're going to go in with primer. Now, I know here lately I have been doing this, which is this um, Kypress Antioxidant Dew, which is a glow serum. And it's tacky, so I've been using it as a primer. But it kind of occurred to me, praise the Lord, to do a primer and then do this on top. So, we're going to see how it goes. And for primer, I love this stuff. Guys, this is from e.l.f. It's their Poreless Putty Primer. This stuff is a bomb. It's cheap. Which I know, with you ladies on a budget, that is your middle name. As long as, as, as well, excuse me, as well as myself. I love a cheap product that works really good. And this is one of them. Um, it smooths everything. Um, you don't need a whole lot, but you can use a whole lot if you want. I guess it's just personal preference. Um, I use a little bit right here in my T-zone, which I'm about to show you, and it kind of blurs everything just a little bit, just enough to give you that something, you know? Okay, so, and it's, you know, just this nice little color. They got a few extra ones. They got, like, or a few different ones. They have, like, a luminous one if you want a little sparkle, and they have a matte one, too. So, I mean, whatever you want to do. But I just do it. Right in my teeth, I'm gonna just rub it all in. And I feel like I feel like my skin's a little extra dry, I'll add extra. But this really does. This really does smooth everything out.
Okay, so then we're gonna go set this off to the side and then we're gonna go in Then we're gonna go in with our glow serum. I'm just gonna do it underneath my eyes and right in the middle of my forehead. Set this off to the side and we're gonna rub this in. So I'm gonna on second thought. I was kinda of thinking we should do the serum first. That's okay. You know, it's kind of funny. They're trying to figure out how to make brownies. Mm, women, I don't know about you, but it's just kind of funny. These men trying to figure stuff out without you. I mean, it's sweet and it's cute that they try. But it is kind of funny in a way. God forgive me, but it makes me laugh a little. Make sure you get your nose. I feel like in between my brows always gets missed. Guys, I love that eye look. Okay, so now we're going to do something different in foundation today. I'm going to jazz it up in just a smidgen. I got this Unbelieve Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. $5, guys. $5, okay? And I'm in the shade Warm Vanilla. Now, this is a little dark for me. It's like a little orangey. So I'm going to mix it. With this uh, Wet Mall Photo Focus Foundation. This is a great foundation. But I got this one too light. Story of my life. So, and this one is in the shade um, Nude Ivory. So, we're just going to mix these two. And then, see. I'm pretty sure last time I did this, it's been a little bit. But the last time I did this, it worked out pretty good. And guys, I'm literally like, oh, oh, oh my gosh, that's a lot. And I guess we'll go ahead and do two pumps of this just to even that color out. Actually, we'll do three. I know that's a lot. Don't worry, guys. I'm not putting all that on my face. I just have to even that color out. Otherwise, it's going to be too light. And it's going to be like, what was the point, you know? And I'm just going to take the head of my beauty blender and mix it on the back of my hand. Okay, just like that okay and then we're just gonna take and we're just gonna kind of dab it in you know dab it in your skin use what you need the only thing I don't like about this wet mild foundation is it's got that paint smell which I mean if that's the only thing you don't like about it you're doing pretty good but like I said don't forget your ears ladies I always try to make sure I remember my ears. Now you can cover your brows because we have not got that far. So I like to do my foundation first if I can. Just because I know I haven't got to my brows yet. We're just bouncing this all over the skin. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see and I can see the only downfall about wearing glasses is I can't really see much. So forgive me if you can't see certain things and if there's any questions, something you missed that you didn't see me do, please leave a comment and I will answer you as soon as I see it. I check these, I check my channel like every, I want to say every couple hours. So I'm pretty consistent with it. So. We're all learning, we're all here because we love makeup and we you know what I mean we just we all just love it so we're all friends here we're all we're all friends here so positive place I think with the world being the way it is these days I want my channel to be a positivity lifting people up just beauty all around you know um, I think I'm going to try and build it up a little bit, just because it's not really, I mean, I do think it matches me pretty good, but I'm just going to kind of bounce it in there, guys. 
think? I think it looks good and glowy. I like that it has that glow factor. I'll tell you what, that um, Believe Beauty brand, their foundations do really do have a glow to them. And I really like that about them. I forgot to grab my lip color. Oh. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to front. We're gonna move on to uh, concealer. And I wanted to do more of like um, really focus on the skin because I've got like a simple eye look today. Simple but beautiful, very beautiful. So I am gonna cream contour. Um, we're gonna go in with a KKW contour stick, and I use the lightest shade because I'm not very dark, obviously. So we're gonna go in light medium, and I'm just gonna. Do like a stripe back and forth there. There. I don't do nothing with my nose. I might just for a little something, but we're going to do our jaw on each side. My jaw. You see I messed that? Girl. And then we're going to do right here on the forehead. And then we're going to go with our concealer too. Okay. We got that done. And then we'll set with our powder too. I should have done that just a minute ago, and I don't know why I didn't. Okay, then we're going to go in once again with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. And I just do three stripes down. Because I don't feel like I need a lot, you know? I'm actually going to do a little extra. Just a little extra today, because I feel like that... I feel like that um, foundation wasn't wasn't very um very full coverage and I think it's that believe beauty. So we're gonna do our concealer first. Okay, and we're just gonna kind of just just like our foundation, we're just gonna bounce it right into the skin. And I really think that a good sponge is key unless you use a brush. I've seen a lot of girls use brushes too. I just only like to use brushes for my powder products. And even, actually, I, yeah, that's right. And, um, but as far as cream products, I like a sponge. And, but, you know, that's what I was going to say. Even when I do, when I set, I like to use a sponge. I'm just a sponge girl, I guess. I'm just a little spongy. I need to do my brows, guys. Do not let me forget to do my brows. <laughs> that would be bad. All right, now what we're going to do is I'm going to leave the nose for a minute. We're just going to suck it, and we're going to kind of move this upwards. We're pouncing, and we're kind of moving in an upward motion, okay? I don't know if you guys can hear my children. If you can, I apologize. They're off the hook today. See, that gives like a nice little, nice little glow. Then we're gonna just kind of blend this like that. And then we'll go ahead, we will set our cream bronzer with powder bronzer. Because you want to set all your creams so they're not moving all over the place or you don't wipe them off when you itch your forehead or whatever. Because I don't know about you, but as soon as I get a full face on, I always have an itch. Usually I'm going to blow my nose. I love that. Okay. Now that we got that done, guys, what we're going to do is we are going to dip into some powder, but I'm going to use a different powder today. I've been using that Ciate, or no, Ciate London, is that what I've been using? Yeah, Ciate London powder, but I'm going to dip into something different. I'm going to dip into the Catrice Cosmetics, excuse me, baking and setting loose powder. It's supposed to be mattifying, water resistant, and a second skin effect. So, I think I've only used it once. We're going to give it a go. It's messy, I will tell you that. I mean, I kind of shook it around to kind of break it up when it was closed and it was spilling out everywhere. So, I mean, 
I'm not a fan of that, but you know, a new one that's kind of set that all over. And we're just gonna kind of leave it there for a minute, guys, and just kind of let it bake. Oh, <coughs> I'm so chalky, guys. If you don't like that, you won't like this. Come choking up over here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to shut that. Um, I'm not too sure what I feel about that. <laughs> but I don't like how it chokes you to death. And I really, I mean, look at that. And I really don't like that mess that leaves. I mean, guys, it's close. You see what I'm saying? It's close. That's one thing I don't like about it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our cream um, bronzer that we just put in with the powder bronzer, and we're gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Ticket to Brazil, which I really like this one. This one's nice. Not too much, but just enough, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go in with my favorite bronzer brush, which this one is the Moda brush. It doesn't have a number or nothing, so, but it is really nice. We're just gonna, and it does have a lot of kickback, guys. If you don't like kickback, don't bother me, but I mean, some people it does. So. Just something to kind of think about, you know? Something to think about. <gasps> Guys, I even blend up here. Shoo. Man, I'm a hot mess today. I didn't even get up there. I wanted to go set it and I realized it didn't even pounce it in. Is it time for bed or what? Hmm? Oh, my friggin'. We're pouncing this in. I feel like if you blend this out with a brush, it doesn't do as good. But since I set my forehead with that powder, it's kind of sticky. It doesn't blend near as good. Like you see the streaks. Let me try a brush. But um, I got this brush in a boxy charm box. It literally says boxy charm on it. It's a little exclusive. So I'm gonna try and blend that out. But since I put that setting powder on there, I never had a problem before, cause I have obviously done this before. Um, believe it or not, where I forgot to set a certain thing and already put powder down and I never had that problem. So I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of this whole Catrice setting powder. I guess there's a reason why I haven't used it before, huh? All right, let's go in. I'm already hitting paint on this bronzer, guys, and I haven't hit paint on nothing. Because, you know, I get all these products, and I always try and use different ones, and, but this one's good. I really like it. Okay. Now we're going to bronze our neck, of course. Yeah, look, literally, guys, look at that. Is there a, like a hit and pan pen you can get? Because I get one. All right. So now we're going to go and we're going to set the rest of our face with our LA Girl Pro Pro Face Matte Press Powder. Really like that, guys. Okay. So we're just going to go with this big. This is like my freaking favorite brush. It's like so fluffy. It's obviously from e.l.f. And I swear this is not sponsored by e.l.f. You think it would be, but it's not. I just really like e.l.f. Their products are super cheap and they're really good. I mean, what more could you love, you know? What else could a working mother chasing her dream want, you know? And we're just pressing this in. Just to set any extra foundation or, you know, creams or anything. And I'm just going to use this to brush away any excess powder, too. 
I think he's great for that. Like, seriously. Okay, so we're gonna set that off to the side. I'm sorry, my family is so loud. I mean, is your family loud too? Drop that in the comment section. But I think the loud families are the best. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our blush, of course. Now, um, this is a blush that I got from that, um, she, this is the, um, the line She Glam, which is exclusive only to Sheen, and this is in the shade Room and Holiday, and this packaging is so bougie, and it's adorable, and, I mean, for something so cheap and just online and stuff, I mean, freaking look at that, guys. Look at that. I love that. And then we're gonna go on with my favorite little tiny stippling brush. And this is pigmented if I do remember right. So I didn't add much. Yeah, just a little wash of color, guys. I think that's freaking adorable. It's just such a bright pink. I'm a big blush person. Like, um, like a rosy. Like a rosy blush. Not like cinnamon blushes or, you know. I mean, I'm sure they're alright for every now and then, but I like a rosy blush. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with Highlight. And this is one I haven't used in a while, but I really do like it. Um, it's from the brand Estate, and it's in the shade Doomy. How cute is that? Um, Doomy Pearl, it says. We're going to pop this puppy open. And the brush that I use for my highlighting is from Milani. It's technically their all-over blending brush, but it's a perfect highlight brush. Blah, 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 blush. Brush. Can't talk today. It's like a pinky, you know? I'm gonna do it on the tops of the cheeks, like that. Kinda of thinking I should set my face first, okay. So let's rewind. We're gonna go with the Siri Studio All Over the Face Glow Setting Spray. We're just gonna set that, and then before that dries, we wanna go in with our highlighter. And then you see what I'm saying? Oh, you see how streaky that looks? Is that just me? Mmm, yeah, not a fan of that. That looks awful. Some a lot of highlighters you can do that with, but God, that looks terrible. You guys see that? Oh my God, guys, that's awful. Oh my God, God, that's so bad. Okay, guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me see if I can't like blend that away. Use a finger, you know. This is it. The setting powder. I gotta think it's the setting powder, right? I think I'm just gonna throw that darn, darn thing in the trash. Try and blend it out a little. That's kind of wonder where I'm at here. I mean, that ain't terrible, but God, that was awful. Oh my gosh. Gotta take my finger. I don't think it's the, I don't think it's a highlight because I love that highlight. Perfect for the inner corners or the brow bone. That looks better, guys. Let me bring you closer. That looks a lot better, but God, that was awful. Okay, let's, um... Let's never use that freaking setting powder ever again. Okay. All right, now let's go in and let's finish up our lower lashes. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a green liner in the water in the waterline and then do that orange. Cause I actually happen to have um, one of the ColourPop's BFF cream gel liners in this bright neon green, which matches perfectly with my inner corner. Praise the Lord for that. So let's go in with that. We're just gonna pop it. Trying to make sure you guys can see. Like it's a little darker. Let me bring it closer. It's a little darker, but still looks good, I think. So let's do the other eye, okay? Mmm, -hmm. mm, God, 
guys. I love that. Like, if you guys need a really good freaking um, waterline color or waterline, waterline liner. Yeah, waterline liner. These are the bomb. And they actually have bundles, I do believe. I'm not 100% sure. They're like 70 bucks, but you get like 30 of them. So, I mean, really can't beat that. So, let's go back in with this orange. Right here. And I think I might do a little bit of the green and then the rest of orange. Because the green's kind of the main focus, you know? And I don't want to lose that. So we're going to go back in with that uh, Luxie pencil brush that we used in our inner corners to start the whole look. I'm just going to kind of bring this down a little. Right, like that. Yeah, just enough, yeah. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. Just like right before your eye color starts. That's about where I'm stopping that green. I guess it depends on where you're looking at, huh? Goofy girl. Alright, so now we're going to go in and we are going to smudge that brownish color. I guess I'm going to go in with this um, Petite Eye Blender, the 223 brush from Jessup with that orange color we use. Knock off the excess. Mm, guys, I'm like loving this. Mm, okay, guys, let me kind of bring you close. See what I'm saying? I still need... That is, like, a gorgeous. I swear I'm getting Nickelodeon vibes. I'm not even kidding. Okay, so now we're going to put this up because that's all I need for that. Don't need the blush no more. Don't need the highlight no more. Don't need that no more. Now I'm going to go in with, and I'm trying to use the rest of this up, so excuse me for using the same thing twice. But I'm going to go in with the Tarte Big Ego. I love this color of this. It just like sticks right out. But we're going to try to freaking finish this tube up, guys. And I'm just going to mesh my um, real lashes with my false lashes. I'm not going to go all the way out, you know. Just like that. We're gonna do a light coat. Just like that. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Hard to believe I'm already taking this off, guys. You know. Okay, now guys, I'm like living for that cute little look. Now guys, I think the only thing that I need, oh guys, it's perfect. Don't you just love that? Oh, I love it. The only thing I need is lip color, and I'm thinking, I think we're going to do like a nude, you know, like a pink, guys. Okay, we're gonna do something a little darker today, guys. 
Okay, so we're gonna go in with the lip liner. This is um, from Milani. It's their color statement lip liner, and this is in the shade Bordeaux. Am I saying that right? Bordeaux? Hopefully. And then we're gonna match it with um, Ofra's Liquid Lipsticks and Havana Nights. Always reminds me of that song, you know? Okay, so now we're gonna go and we're gonna line. And these are so creamy, guys, seriously. If you need a good lip liner, this is one. Yeah, this is definitely one. It's like... I'm just, sorry guys. I'm just drawing up and around and then up and around. So... Uh, um. I don't know it don't look good, very, very good right now, but I promise it'll come together. I hope these lips are always so challenging for me. Alright, now it's gonna go with this Havana Nights. It's a little darker, but. I have to fix that now. See that lip right there? I think that looks a little weird. So we're going to go in. We're going to fix it just a little bit. Right? Now I'm thinking, guys, like just a little pink in the center. So let me get... Let me get a little something. Let me get a little. Okay, so we're gonna go in, guys. Just uh, just a little bit in the center. We're gonna go in with this strawberry pop dose of color, the shade strawberry pop, and dose of colors. And we're just gonna we're just gonna kind of adjust this slightly, just just like that. You just need a little bit and you're gonna take your finger and blend it out, okay? Let me clean that up. Mm. Yeah. Although it's not as yes, I'm making a mess here.
Yeah, that looks good, guys. I do like that, but I need to fix this lip, I swear. I swear, guys, I swear. Yeah, like that. Okay. That's all right. Not perfect. Now, last thing that I need to do is I need to highlight my inner corners, and I was going to use it, and I about forgot about it. Thank God I did. Now, this is from Naked Cosmetics, and this is just straight out glitter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with this teeny tiny precision brush, okay? I'm going to get it wet with some Fix Plus. And this is great for just just about everything, you know, shimmers, um, you know, just everything. Guys, freaking look at this. I want you to just take a minute to appreciate. Right. Okay. So. We're gonna, and I've got glitter all over the stand. That's okay. Now, we got our brush coated, and we're just gonna go right in with our inner corners. Guys, oh, it's so beautiful. And I really can't believe I'm gonna wipe this all off, but, you know. Okay, guys. Okay. So, look at that. Oh, let me take my glasses off. Sorry. You see that nice little, besides the one on my nose, that nice little sparkle, guys? And I, oh, I do need to fix my eyeliner because it's not as sharp. Which, that's a super easy fix, guys. You just take and just sharpen up that black piece. But, yeah love it all right guys thank you so much for watching hopefully it wasn't too long i've been trying to cut it out i forgot my brows guys minus my brows everything is done i've kept you long enough you guys have a wonderful night thank you so much for sticking in and watching with me bye